western edge of LA County getting some rain right now. Let's zoom in. You can see off the 101 freeway from Ventura into Thousand Oaks, Calabasas area, some light to moderate rainfall there. There was a chance that there could have been a water spout that developed near the Ventura coast and uh, so far so good, but there's enough kind of rotation that we're seeing in this system on the radar to provide that a chance of thunderstorms as well, but so far so good. We're not seeing any lightning strikes uh, in our region at least. We have seen it in other places, but Long Beach up to Santa Monica, you have those light showers happening right now and then up towards Glendale, but San Gabriel Valley and beyond, it's still dry uh, towards the east. And so that will eventually go into that rainy um, rainy zone. Visibility, we still have uh, some low clouds, some marine layer clouds with visibility affected in Santa Monica, two miles, two and a half miles at LAX. And then out towards the IE, you can see Ontario a mile and a half, Chino two and a half miles, and this could get worse as the morning progresses, so keep that in mind. We also have a high surf warning still in effect through tonight, the entire coast. We could see 15, 10 to 15 foot waves with 20 foot sets like we saw in Ventura the other day. So this is going to be round two of it. Just definitely be careful because we do have a coastal flood warning that goes alongside with this significant flooding possible from Ventura County coast into LA County coast and moderate flooding down towards Orange County. All right, the rainfall. Here we go. We fast forward into about uh, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, and that's when the eastern portion of our area gets some of that rain, but it does uh, kind of die off. It's not going to be as much rain as what we'll see maybe over western LA County and Ventura County today. Then eventually scattered showers later in the evening and eventually just dries out and uh, clears up until storm number two comes on through. And there's a chance of showers uh, Sunday ahead of it, but look at this, it's a little too far south. And as we continue to watch the models, it gets further and further away. So New Year's Day, doesn't look too bad. LA Orange County 70 forecast shows that next system coming through Monday, a 20% chance. Uh, that's a small chance. Tuesday looks great. And then another storm comes Wednesday, Thursday, and then another storm, possibly Saturday, Sunday. Valley's Inland Empire, there's that rain today. And then drying out going into Monday, possibly a 20% chance. But again, it looks like it's getting further away from us. Another storm Wednesday night into Thursday morning, drying out Friday, until the next system, the next El Nino system comes through. Beaches, we have that elevated surf. That's the biggest story today. Watch out for possible lightning strikes, especially along the coast there. Sunny on Tuesday. Tuesday and Friday look to be the best days of the week because we just kind of have storm after storm after storm. They're not major storms, but still it's rain. Mountain areas getting snow, 6,000 feet or so. Uh, and then Monday, maybe a dusting of snow, but Wednesday, Thursday, this is a colder storm. The snow levels dropped to about 5,500 feet. And so therefore there could be uh, more snow with that one. Finally, the upper deserts here. We see some showers today, tomorrow, drying out Monday for New Year's Day. So Mark and Irene, uh, we have uh, just those storms that yeah. keep on coming. It's yeah, going on, even okay. some moisture as we were coming in this morning, yeah. you know, coming into the building. Thanks, Tony. Now let's take a look at some of our headlines this morning. Oh. Now at five, we are hearing from people who witnessed this, these massive waves, including local officials on how to stay safe as another high surface warning is in effect. Plus, a man opens fire on LAPD officers in a SoCal neighborhood. What police are saying led to this tense, tense standoff? And the holiday traffic continues today for those who are on the road. What the best time to leave is and what freeways to avoid if you can. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. The time now is 5 a.m. Good morning, I'm Mark Cutter Robles. And I'm Irene Cruz. We begin with a high surf warning in effect this morning. The warnings are in effect until 10 tonight for all LA County beaches. The highest surf is expected at west facing beaches like Hermosa Beach and Manhattan Beach, where the pier is closed through tomorrow. Forecasters say some areas could see waves as high as 20 feet, accompanied by dangerous rip currents. Meantime, Ventura County beaches are closed for the weekend after a massive wave wave jumped the seawall, leaving eight people hurt. So all of our efforts are here to protect the environment and the homes that are here, and we need the people to heed these warnings so that they don't become a victim and involve our rescuers to go in and rescue them. County, a high surf warning and coastal flood advisory is in effect until Monday. The National Weather Service says the high surf is the result of powerful cyclones over the northern Pacific waters. Scan the code on your screen now for everything to track the high surf and rain.